Fensang police on June 20th at around 1 a.m. rescued 22-year-old woman from Assam who was abducted from Twensang town in December 2022. This was informed by the SDPO Twensang Manish Bhartia while addressing the press conference on June 21st. Bhartia said that after the family of the girl got in touch with the police, the covert rescue operation team started their mission on Sunday. After monitoring and conducting real-time surveillance of the abductors and the victim, the team successfully rescued the abducted woman and was safely reunited with her family. The 26-year-old abductor, a businessman by profession, worked in the area where the girl lived and that is how he got in touch with her and the family. He gained confidence of the family and stayed in the house for some time and on the pretext of marriage, he took her to his place in Assam. However, after reaching there, the family was never contacted by the abductor and the girl nor they were able to reach the contact. This made the family suspicious and they reached out for help from the Twensang police station and said the STPO, according to the police, the girl was confined at home, beaten, tortured and abused for more than six months. However, there are no major injuries and she is in good health, mentally sound and medically fit. So on 15th, one family from Tunsang, they approach us regarding the complaint of abduction of a girl by an individual from Assam. So after um, making GD entry and making initial inquiry, a Sumoto FIR was registered in this case. And after getting relevant details uh, from the family, our cyber uh, cell and the technical expertise team, they got activated and we... Um, took the real-time um, surveillance of the accused and the victim. For continuous monitoring, uh, two, three days, we came to know about the whereabouts of the accused and the victim. And from the direction of our uh, superior officer, SP sir, we coordinated with Assam police in Barpeta district and we formed a team from Tumsang police led by UBSI Toshi and uh, the team members uh, comprising total of five members they started on the very next day in the morning 2 am for the rescue and uh, arresting the accused the team started on uh, sunday 2 am and after traveling for 16 hours continuously they reach the barpeta district and after um, coordinating with the authorities in barpeta they conducted the rescue and uh, arrest operation and after completing all the formalities they again start their journey back to Tunsang, which took them around 16 hours and they reached Tunsang on 20th June by midnight. The success of this operation is this, that the victim is safe, in good health and has been handed over to the parents after completing all the uh, formalities and the accused has been arrested and has been uh, forwarded to the uh, judicial, uh, judicial authorities. Uh, so this uh, this case has been registered in the Tunsang Police Station. Uh, the case number is 27-2023. Uh, we have book two section section 366-365 IPC. It is an advisory to any of those who are missing in any such kind of cases or any other cases that uh, it is my request to all the family members and well wishers to come out and give their information to us. Uh, the Tunsang Police uh, will act in every possible manner to help you out. Like in this case, when the family approaches within uh, three days, we could get hold of the uh, accused and the victim. So, but they took a long time, around five, six months uh, got lapsed. They didn't inform us. It is my uh, humble request to uh, Tunsang Public to come out and approach us. If any of their uh, well-wisher or family member is missing, they can approach us anytime. We will um, take very swift action and we will try to help them out in, every, in the best possible manner. Now with respect to helpline number 600-930-8128. 600-930-8128. This is Tunsang PS number and I assure that your identity, in case you are a minor or in case the victim is a woman, your identity will be um, kept safe and will not be disclosed in, to anyone. And uh, you can contact us for 
any help that you want the family they are very thankful for uh, the action that we have taken or the swift action that we have taken and the girl was beaten up and um, uh, she was taken hostage she is not allowed to go outside so it is we need to learn from this that uh, do not fall prey to any false promises and always keep your parents and well wishers informed about uh, contacting anyone who is not known to you as of now um, there is no major injuries to her and uh, which is why i say that we can have a very successful operation that she is in a very good health and mentally also she is very sound so she is medically fit the so uh, the the accused uh, he got in touch with the family of the victim uh, because he used to do business in that area and he stayed for some time in the house of the victim so that's how he gained the confidence of the family but um, on the pretext of the marriage uh, he abducted the victim and took her to his place in assam so that's how he came in contact with the family and after reaching assam Uh, he didn't make any contact with the family and the uh, family they tried to make contact with the girl and the accused but uh, failing and they didn't get any success in contacting them that's how they reach us and uh, we conducted this successful operation oh it i think it, it is an abduction because um, he didn't tell his true identity to the girl and the girl she was not aware of his uh, true intentions and on the pretext of marriage he took her and uh, they didn't inform the family also though he was staying with the family for quite some time so um, he gained the confidence of the girl and the family and uh, that's how he abducted her as per the initial investigation we cannot say uh, what is uh, the exact status but all the details are being uh, investigated the victim is 22 year old and the accused is 26 years old